Okay, question 9. Part A says, part A1 says, show by calculation that the exact roots of the equation that x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0 are negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 6. Okay. Let's try that. Now, <coughs> this is quadratic equation. It seems as if you could use a formula for this calculation. And remember, you have the formula in the formula sheet. So, x equal negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, x is equal to, first of all, you need to identify your a, b, and c. You need to know what a is, what b is, and what c is. Now, you can see here, this is x squared, but it really means 1x squared because the general equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So you can see it's 1x squared plus 2x plus negative 5 equals 0. So clearly, a is 1, b is 2, c is negative 5. Alright, so x is equal to negative b. b is 2, so negative b is negative 2. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 2 squared minus 4 by a, which is 1, by c, which is negative 5 all over 2a all over 2a so it's over 2 times 1 so x is negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 1 is 4, 4 by negative 5, negative 20 all over 2 so x is negative 2 plus and minus the square root of 4 minus negative 20 is what? is 4 plus 20 which would be 24 all over 2. So x is eh? all right. In this case, you can write it as negative 2 over 2 plus and minus the square root of 24 over 2. So what happens? Let's continue over here. x is eh? negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 plus and minus. Now in this case, what you have here <coughs> is square root of 24, which is 4 by 6 over 2. You see that? And this can be separated into square root of 4 by square root of 6 all over 2. See that? So it's x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 4 is 2. 2 times square root of 6 over 2. And guess what happens now? 2 cancels 2. So you have x is equal to 1 negative 1 plus or minus square root of 6. And that's shown because this is what they ask you to show x the this root is 
negative 1 plus 5 minus the square root of 6. So that has been shown. Now, thing is, what else did they ask you to do? Hence or otherwise. Okay. Solve the simultaneous equation that. So let me just copy this and put it in the in that screen. Let me paste it here for now. Let's just erase the work that was done before. I don't think we'll need all of this. Alright. For this part of the question. I don't think we'll need this for that part of the question. So, hence or otherwise. Hence would mean using the method you've been using before. Continuing with the method you've been using before. Otherwise mean using some other method of your choice. So, hence or otherwise, solve this equation. Let's see what happens here. What we have is 2 plus x is equal to y and xy is equal to 5. So, 2 plus x is equal to y. What do we do now? Since 2 plus x is equal to y, this here is y. Alright? So, let's rewrite x, y is equal to 5. And then, instead of putting y, we put this. So, we have x times 2 plus x equals 5. Good. You see that? So multiply x times 2 is 2x plus x times x is x squared equals 5. Oh, why does my 5 look like this? Equals 5. So when we rearrange it, we can put x squared plus 2x equals 5. We could just subtract 5 from both sides and we say minus 5 equals 0. So x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. That's what we have here. And what we know already, right, is that x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 6. Now, what we want is y. Now, let's put the x's together. For an equation like this, you would have four answers. Two answers for x and two corresponding or matching answers for y. In one case, x is negative 1 plus the square root of 6. In the other case, x is negative 1 minus the square root of 6. Alright? You see that? Now, I think we're going to need some space, so let's put it a bit further out away. So, in one case, x is 1, it's negative 1. Why am I saying 1? It's negative 1. Negative 1 plus the square root of 6, and the other case, x is negative 1 minus square root of 6. So I have two answers so far, two of them for x. Now, when x is negative 1 plus the square root of 6, what is y? We can use the first equation here, rewrite it as y equals 2 plus x. So y is equal to 2 plus negative 1 plus square root of 6. So y is equal to 2 plus negative 1. That's 2 minus 1, which is 1 minus the square root of 6. Right? So what we can do is match them together. 
x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 6 and y is equal to 1 minus square root of 6 these go together so we have an x and a corresponding y now let's see what happens when x is negative 1 minus the square root of 6 so when x is negative 1 minus the square root of 6 what is y? y is going to be 2 plus x which is 2 plus negative 1 minus the square root of 6 so y is 2 plus negative 1 which is 2 minus 1 which is 1 minus the square root of 6 so the other corresponding pair of um, roots would be x is negative 1 minus square root of 6 and y is 1 minus the square root of 6 so these two go together alright so those would be the solutions when you solve this pair of simultaneous equations alright anything else for this question let's see we have part B. Let's deal with part B another time.